it's Sarah from Ride Dreaming Cloth, and today I'm doing a comparison review of some of my absolute favorite cloth diapering products. This is going to be a squishy, loopy, terrific Bamboo Terry Flat Showdown. Orange Diaper Company vs. Fruit of the Womb vs. Sweet Iris. On my left, I have an orange diaper flat. In the middle, I have a Fruit of the Womb. And on my right, I have a Sweet Iris flat. And I'm going to start off with the basic similarities between these. They are all flat diapers, meaning that they are just one single layer of fabric. They are all sized, meaning they come in different sizes depending on the size of your baby. And for this review, I have what would be considered the toddler size or the large size. They are all made in the USA. They are all a combination of bamboo and organic cotton. They are all a terry texture, meaning they have that loopy bath towel kind of feel and they all have surged edging. And now I'm going to jump straight into some specific categories of differences. The first category is composition. And first up to that is the orange diaper flat. This is made of 70% viscose from bamboo, 28% organic cotton, and 2% poly. Next up we have a fruit of the womb green apple flat. And the tag, which was a stamp on here at one point, has almost completely faded away, but the materials were never on here anyway, so I just emailed her. This is made of 70% bamboo and 30% organic cotton. And I just want to point out that Fruit of the Womb also offers a green apple taffy flat, which is a spandex version of this, and that is 70% bamboo, 27% organic cotton, and 3% spandex. And last, we have the Sweet Iris Flat, which is made of 70% viscose from bamboo, 25% organic cotton, and 5% spandex. The next category is sizing, and again, I'm going to start off with the Orange Diaper Flat. And this is going to be the sizing that they offer online. So Orange Diaper Company offers a newborn flat, which is 16 by 16, an infant flat, which is 23.5 by 23.5, and a toddler flat, which is 28 by 28. Next, we have the Fruit of the Womb flats, and these come in preemie, which is a 15 by 15, newborn, which is 18 by 18, infant, which is 23 by 23, and toddler, which is 28 by 28. Last but not least, we have the Sweet Iris flats, which come in small, which are 20 by 20, medium, which are 23 by 23, large, which are 27.5 by 27.5, extra large, which are 29.5 by 29.5, as well as a half size, which is 15 by 29.5. The next category is shrinkage, or basically the size that the flats are now after washing. And the Fruit of the Womb and the Sweet Iris flats are pre-washed to reduce shrinking, but the Orange Diaper Company, even though they aren't, the shrinkage is supposedly, supposedly built into the sizing, so they take that into account. And for this category, I'm going to use pictures instead of doing this on video because it's just a whole lot easier. The orange diaper flat, I measure 28.25 by 27.5 inches after washing. The fruit of the womb flat, I measure 27.5 by 27.75 inches. And the sweet iris flat, I measure 28.5 by 28.5. And since those were actually a little bit above the online sizes, I measured another one that I had, which came out to 27.5 by 28.5 inches after washing. The next category is comfort. And really what I want to try to do here is just kind of a texture comparison. So I guess I'll start here with the orange diaper. This terry, the loops on this terry are pretty small, but they stick out quite a bit. And this, this, uh, this terry is double-sided, so there is terry on each side of this flat. The fruit of the womb is a single-sided terry. These loops are, are pretty small, but they don't stick out quite as much as the uh, orange diaper flats, and the other side of this is a, th a smoother side. And all of these have pilled a little bit, um, but they're still, I would say they are, are definitely still comfortable. The Sweet Iris is the most different between the other two. These are, are fairly similar, other than the, the orange diaper being double-sided and this being single-sided. The Sweet Iris is just a much different texture. 
when I got this, I was very surprised because it was kind of the first Terry that I had seen that felt this way. These loops are larger and they are more matted down. So you don't get that, you don't get as much as of that loopy kind of feel. The other side of this is a softer side, which with the spandex in here, honestly, this side reminds me of just a soft and stretchy camisole. It, it really feels exactly like that in my opinion. So all of these, I would say all of these are very comfortable. They're all, they've all pilled slightly, but they are all still soft. Um, but the, the Sweet Iris with that spandex in here is definitely, stands out a little bit from the other two. The next category is absorbency, and for this category I did my best to do an actual absorbency test. I laid all the flats out on a paper towel, I took two shot glasses full of water, and I slowly poured the two ounces over the middles to mimic the wet zone. And when I lifted the flats back up, you can see that the sweet iris flat on top had the least amount of water left on its paper towel, the orange diaper flat was next, and the fruit of the womb flat had the most. So while I have never had leaks using any of these flats and find them all to be very absorbent, the sweet iris flat is the most absorbent in my opinion, while the fruit of the womb flat is the least. The next category is trimness, and I find that trimness is a lot easier to compare the more layers that you have. So I have folded these in a way that there are now 24 layers each. So I'm going to compare them one on top of the other and kind of show them like this. Even them out a little bit more. So the Sweet Iris Flat is on the bottom. You can see that that is definitely the trimmest out of all of these. And I am trying to compare these two. And I really feel like the, the Fruit of the Womb and the Orange Diaper are just about the same in their trimness. But here again is the Sweet Iris Flat against the Fruit of the Womb. And you can tell that the 24 layers of this versus the 24 layers of this is definitely a whole lot trimmer. The next category is washing and drying. And I have to say, I love this category about flat diapers. They are so easy to wash and they are so easy to dry. They are just one single layer of fabric. So even for an HE washer like mine, it, it, it really is very easy to clean these diapers. And drying is a pinch as well. You can even line dry them and they will dry so quickly. So all of these, all of these flats really take a very short amount of time to dry and are very easy to clean. The last category is just some additional notes. And I actually have some subcategories for this that I'd like to cover. The first is folding. And you can probably see here on the Sweet Iris flats, the sides tend to roll in just a little bit. The orange diaper doesn't have issues with rolling so much, but the, the sides you can see have kind of frayed just a little bit. And the, the sides can end up sticking to sticking together and you can kind of have to pull them apart. However, the fruit of the womb flat is just very, very clean cut. It's very easy to fold, very sturdy. So I really like to fold this flat. I'm not gonna lie, I get excited when I get to fold this. The next category is snappy ability, and unfortunately, the fruit of the womb comes in last for this category. I have never had issues uh, snapping the orange diaper or the, the sweet iris flats. However, the fruit of the womb, for some reason, I just the snappy will come undone, and this has happened many, many times. I actually find that the smoother side is a little bit easier, holds up a little bit better. So I will usually just put it on and, and snappy it on the smoother side. The next category is tags, and as I showed with the materials earlier, the, the Fruit of the Womb and the Sweet Iris are a tagless system. The Sweet Iris is right here. The Fruit of the Womb is all but gone at this point, but that's okay. I really don't like messing with tags. Fortunately, the, the orange diaper tag is very small, so it you know it's not really that big of a deal, but it's just something I wanted to point out. And the last category is stretch, and obviously having some spandex in it, the Sweet Iris Flat has a great amount of stretch to it. And stretch is nice for getting just a nice snug fit around your baby, you can get it nice and tight. The Orange Diaper definitely has some stretch to it as well, and it, this has no spandex in it. However, the Fruit of the Womb, it definitely was very, very stretchy when I got it. 
but it has really lost quite a bit of its stretch. It's still got some, but um, it has definitely, I would say, lost the most of, of these two that don't have the spandex. And like I mentioned earlier, the Fruit of the Womb does have their Green Apple Taffy Flat, which does have some spandex in it. Um, but this is, this is just their regular Green Apple Flat. So that's my comparison between the Orange Diaper, the Fruit of the Womb, and the Sweet Iris Bamboo Terry Flats. I tried for so long to avoid flats, but you know what? They have become my favorite way of cloth diapering. Honestly, with my HE washer, they are just so easy to clean. They are so easy to dry, and I, I love them. I really do, and I can't say anything bad about any of these flats. They are all made in the U.S. by wonderful people, so I highly recommend trying them out. For more videos, check out my channel, iDerman Cloth.